Greenwich, listen, Greenwich, Green I J, Greenwich, or Green I J, is an area of southeast London, England, located 5.5 miles (8.9 kilometers) east southeast of Charing Cross. It is located within the Royal Borough of Greenwich, to which it lends its name. Greenwich is notable for its maritime history and for giving its name to the Greenwich Meridian (0 degrees longitude) and Greenwich Mean Time. The town became the site of a royal palace, the Palace of Placentia from the 15th century, and was the birthplace of many Tudors, including Henry VIII and Elizabeth I. The palace fell into disrepair during the English Civil War and was rebuilt as the Royal Naval Hospital for Sailors by Sir Christopher Wren and his assistant Nicholas Hawksmore. These buildings became the Royal Naval College in 1873, and they remained an establishment for military education until 1998 when they passed into the hands of the Greenwich Foundation. The historic rooms within these buildings remain open to the public. Other buildings are used by University of Greenwich and Trinity Laban Conservatoire of Music and Dance. The town became a popular resort in the 18th century and many grand houses were built there, such as Vanbrugh Castle 1717, established on Mays Hill, next to the park. From the Georgian period estates of houses were constructed above the town centre. The maritime connections of Greenwich were celebrated in the 20th century, with the sighting of the Cuddy Sark and Gypsy Moth IV next to the river front, and the National Maritime Museum in the former buildings of the Royal Hospital School in 1934. Greenwich formed part of Kent until 1889 when the County of London was created. History Toponymy The place name Greenwich is first attested in a Saxon charter of 918, where it appears as Gronuitz. It is recorded as Grenuitz in 964, and as Grenovitz in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle for 1013. It is Grenviz in the Doomsday Book of 1086, and Grenowich in the Taxatio Ecclesiastica of 1291. The name means green wic or settlement from the Latin vicus. The settlement later became known as East Greenwich to distinguish it from West Greenwich or Detford Strand, the part of Detford adjacent to the Thames, but the use of East Greenwich to mean the whole of the town of Greenwich died out in the 19th century. However, Greenwich was divided into the registration subdistricts of Greenwich East and Greenwich West from the beginning of civil registration in 1837, the boundary running down what is now Greenwich Church Street and Crooms Hill, although more modern references to «East» and «West» Greenwich probably refer to the areas east and west of the Royal Naval College and National Maritime Museum corresponding with the West Greenwich Council Ward. An article in The Times of 13 October 1967 stated, East Greenwich, gateway to the Blackwall Tunnel, remains solidly working class, the manpower for one-eighth of London's heavy industry. West Greenwich is a hybrid, the spirit of Nelson, the Cuddy Sark, the Maritime Museum, an industrial waterfront and a number of elegant houses, ripe for development. <laughs> Manor of East Greenwich. Royal charters granted to English colonists in North America often use the name of the manor of East Greenwich for describing the tenure from the Latin verb tenio, hold as that of free sockage. New England charters provided that the grantees should hold their lands as of his majesty's manor of East Greenwich. This was in relation to the principle of land tenure under English law that the ruling monarch, king or queen, was paramount lord of all the soil in the Terra Regis, while all others held their lands directly or indirectly under the monarch. Land outside the physical boundaries of England, as in America, was treated as belonging constructively to one of the existing royal manors, and from Tudor times grants frequently used the name of the manor of East Greenwich, but some 17 c. Grants named the castle of Windsor Places in North America that have taken the name, East Greenwich, include a township in Gloucester County, New Jersey, a hamlet in Washington County, New York, and a town in Kent County, Rhode Island. Greenwich, Connecticut was also named after Greenwich. <laughs> Early settlement 
tumuli to the southwest of Flamsteed House, in Greenwich Park, are thought to be early Bronze Age barrows reused by the Saxons in the 6th century as burial grounds. To the east between the Vanbra and Maze Hill gates is the site of a Roman villa or temple. A small area of red paving tessery protected by railings marks the spot. It was excavated in 1902 and 300 coins were found dating from the emperors Claudius and Honorius to the 5th century. This was excavated by the Channel 4 television program Time Team in 1999, broadcast in 2000, and further investigations were made by the same group in 2003. The Roman road from London to Dover, Watling Street crossed the high ground to the south of Greenwich, through Blackheath. This followed the line of an earlier Celtic route from Canterbury to St Albans. As late as Henry V, Greenwich was only a fishing town, with a safe anchorage in the river. Viking During the reign of Ethelred the Unready, the Danish fleet anchored in the River Thames off Greenwich for over three years, with the army being encamped on the hill above. From here they attacked Kent and, in the year 1012, took the city of Canterbury, making Archbishop Alphege their prisoner for seven months in their camp at Greenwich, at that time within the county of Kent. They stoned him to death for his refusal to allow his ransom 3,000 pieces of silver to be paid, and kept his body, until the blossoming of a stick that had been immersed in his blood. For this miracle his body was released to his followers, he achieved sainthood for his martyrdom and, in the 12th century, the parish church was dedicated to him. The present church on the site west of the town centre is St. Alphege's Church, designed by Nicholas Hawksmoor in 1714 and completed in 1718. Some vestiges of the Danish camps may be traced in the names of Eastcombe and Westcombe, on the borders of nearby Blackheath. Norman The Doomsday Book records the manor of Grenvis in the Hundred of Grenvis as held by Bishop Odo of Bayeux, his lands were seized by the Crown in 1082. The name of the Hundred was changed to Blackheath when the site of the Hundred Court was moved there in the 12th century. A royal palace, or hunting lodge, has existed here since before 1300, when Edward I is known to have made offerings at the Chapel of the Virgin Mary. Plantagenet Subsequent monarchs were regular visitors, with Henry IV making his will here, and Henry V granting the manor for life to Thomas Beaufort, Duke of Exeter, who died at Greenwich in 1426. The palace was created by Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester, Henry V's half-brother and the regent to Henry VI in 1447. He enclosed the park and erected a tower on the hill now occupied by the Royal Observatory. It was renamed the Palace of Placentia or Pleasance by Henry VI's consort Margaret of Anjou after Humphrey's death. The palace was completed and further enlarged by Edward IV, and in 1466 it was granted to his queen, Elizabeth. Ultimately, it was because the palace and its grounds were a royal possession that it was chosen as the site for Charles II's royal observatory, from which stemmed Greenwich's subsequent global role as originator of the modern prime meridian. Topic. Tudor The palace was the principal residence of Henry VII whose sons Henry, later Henry VIII and Edmund Tudor were born here, and baptised in St Alphages. Henry favoured Greenwich over nearby Eltham Palace, the former principal royal palace. He extended Greenwich Palace and it became his principal London seat until Whitehall Palace was built in the 1530s. Henry VIII married Catherine of Aragon and Anne of Cleves at Greenwich, and both Mary the 18th of February 1516 and Elizabeth the 7th of September 1533 were born at Greenwich. His son Edward VI also died there at age 15. The Palace of Placentia, in turn, became Elizabeth's favorite summer residence. Both she and her sister Mary I used the palace extensively, and Elizabeth's council planned the Spanish Armada campaign there in 1588. Stuart James I carried out the final remodeling work on Greenwich Palace, granting the manor to his wife Queen Anne of Denmark. 
In 1616 Anne commissioned Inigo Jones to design and build the surviving Queen's House as the final addition to the palace. Charles I granted the manor to his wife Queen Henrietta Maria, for whom Inigo Jones completed the Queen's House. During the English Civil War, the palace was used as a biscuit factory and prisoner of war camp. Then, in the interregnum, the palace and park were seized to become a «mansion» for the Lord Protector. By the time of the Restoration, the Palace of Placentia had fallen into disuse and was pulled down. New buildings began to be established as a grand palace for Charles II, but only the King Charles block was completed. Charles II also redesigned and replanted Greenwich Park and founded and built the Royal Observatory. Prince James, later King James II and VII, as Duke of York and Lord Admiral until 1673, was often at Greenwich with his brother Charles and, according to Samuel Pepys, he proposed the idea of creating a Royal Naval Hospital. This was eventually established at Greenwich by his daughter Mary II, who in 1692 to 1693 commissioned Christopher Wren to design the Royal Hospital for Seamen, now the old Royal Naval College. The work was begun under her widower William III in 1696 and completed by Hawksmoor. Queen Anne and Prince George of Denmark continued to patronize the project. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hanoverian. George I landed at Greenwich from Hanover on his accession in 1714. His successor George II granted the Royal Hospital for Seamen the forfeited estates of the Jacobite Earl of Derwentwater, which allowed the building to be completed by 1751. In 1805, George III granted the Queen's House to the Royal Naval Asylum an orphanage school, which amalgamated in 1821–1825 with the Greenwich Hospital School. Extended with the buildings that now house the National Maritime Museum, it was renamed the Royal Hospital School by Queen Victoria in 1892. George IV donated nearly 40 paintings to the hospital in 1824, at a stroke creating a gallery in the Painted Hall. These now form the Greenwich Hospital Collection at the National Maritime Museum. Subsequently, William IV and Queen Adelaide were both regular donors and visitors to the gallery. Topic Victorian and Edwardian Queen Victoria rarely visited Greenwich but in 1845 her husband Prince Albert personally bought Nelson's Trafalgar coat for the Naval Gallery. In 1838 the London and Greenwich Railway completed the very first steam railway in London. It started at London Bridge and had its terminus at London Street now Greenwich High Road. It was also the first to be built specifically for passengers, and the first ever elevated railway, having 878 arches over its almost four-mile stretch. In 1853 the local Scottish Presbyterian community built a church close by. The church was extended twice in the 1860s during the ministry of the increasingly well known Dr. Adolf Safir, eventually accommodating a thousand worshippers. In 1864, opposite the railway terminus, theatrical entrepreneur Sefton Perry built the thousand seater New Greenwich Theatre. William Morton was one of its more successful managers. The theatre was demolished in 1937 to make way for a new town hall, now a listed building under new ownership and renamed Meridian House. Greenwich Station is at the northern apex of the Ashburnham Triangle, a residential estate developed by the Ashburnham family, mainly between 1830 and 1870, on land previously developed as market gardens. It is now a designated conservation area. The present Greenwich Theatre, further to the east, was constructed inside the shell of a Victorian music hall. Beginning life in 1855 as an annex to the Rose and Crown, the Music Hall was rebuilt in 1871 by Charles Crowder and subsequently operated under many names. Topic Modern and the present George V and Queen Mary both supported the creation of the National Maritime Museum, and Mary presented the museum with many items. The Prince Albert, Duke of York later George VI, laid the foundation stone of the new Royal Hospital School when it moved out to Holbrook, Suffolk. In 1937 his first public act as King three weeks before coronation was to open the National Maritime Museum in the buildings vacated by the school. 
The king was accompanied by his mother Queen Mary, his wife Queen Elizabeth, later Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, and the Princess Elizabeth, now Elizabeth II, Princess Elizabeth and her consort Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who was ennobled Baron Greenwich on marriage in 1947, made their first public and official visit to Greenwich in 1948 to receive the freedom of the borough for Philip. In the same year, he became a trustee of the National Maritime Museum. Philip, now the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was a trustee for 52 years until 2000, when he became its first patron. The Duke of Edinburgh has also been a patron of the Cuddy Sark which was opened by the Queen in 1957 since 1952. During the Silver Jubilee of 1977, the Queen embarked at Greenwich for the Jubilee River pageant. In 1987, Her Majesty was aboard the P&O ship Pacific Princess when it moored alongside the old Royal Naval College for the company's 150th anniversary celebrations. To mark the Diamond Jubilee of Elizabeth II, it was announced on 5 January 2010 that on 3 February 2012 the London Borough of Greenwich would become the fourth to have Royal Borough status, the others being the Royal Borough of Kingston-upon-Thames, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea and the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead. The status was granted in recognition of the borough's historic links with the royal family, the location of the Prime Meridian and its being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Governance Greenwich is covered by the Greenwich West and Peninsula wards of the London Borough of Greenwich, which was formed in 1965 by merging the former Metropolitan Borough of Greenwich with that part of the Metropolitan Borough of Woolwich which lay south of the Thames. Along with Blackheath Westcombe, Charlton, Glyndon, Woolwich Riverside, and Woolwich Common, it elects a Member of Parliament MP for Greenwich and Woolwich, currently the MP is Matthew Pennycook. Geography Topography The town of Greenwich is built on a broad platform to the south of the outside of a broad meander in the River Thames, with a safe deep water anchorage lying in the river. To the south, the land rises steeply, 100 feet 30 meters through Greenwich Park to the town of Blackheath. The higher areas consist of a sedimentary layer of gravelly soils, known as the Blackheath Beds, that spread through much of the southeast over a chalk outcrop—with sands, loam and seams of clay at the lower levels by the river. Greenwich is bordered by Detford Creek and Detford to the west, the residential area of Westcombe Park to the east, the River Thames to the north, and the A2 and Blackheath to the south. The Greenwich Peninsula, also known as North Greenwich, is situated to the northeast of the town centre. <laughs> <laughs> Nearby areas Detford Blackheath St John's Westcombe Park New Cross Lewisham Kidbrook Charlton Peckham Thamesmead Plumstead Woolwich Topic Climate This data was collected between 1971 and 2000 at the weather station situated in Greenwich. Topic: Sites of interest. Topic: Riverfront. The Cuddy Sark, a clipper ship, has been preserved in a dry dock by the river. A major fire in May 2007 destroyed a part of the ship, although much had already been removed for restoration. Nearby for many years was also displayed Gypsy Moth IV, the 54 feet meters yacht sailed by Sir Francis Chichester in his single-handed, 226-day circumnavigation of the globe during 1966–67. In 2004, Gypsy Moth IV was removed from Greenwich, and after restoration work completed a second circumnavigation in May 2007. 
On the riverside in front of the northwest corner of the hospital is an obelisk erected in memory of Arctic explorer Joseph René Bellet. Near the Cuttysark site, a circular building contains the entrance to the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, opened on 4 August 1902. This connects Greenwich to the Isle of Dogs on the northern side of the River Thames. The north exit of the tunnel is at Island Gardens, from where the famous view of Greenwich Hospital painted by Canaletto can be seen. Rowing has been part of life on the river at Greenwich for hundreds of years and the first Greenwich Regatta was held in 1785. The annual Great River Race along the Thames Tideway finishes at the Cutty Sark. The nearby Trafalgar Rowing Centre in Crane Street is home to Curlew Rowing Club and Globe Rowing Club. The old Royal Naval College is Sir Christopher Wren's domed masterpiece at the centre of the heritage site. The site is administered by the Greenwich Foundation and several of the buildings are let to the University of Greenwich and one, the King Charles Block, to Trinity College of Music. Within the complex is the former college dining room, the painted hall, this was painted by James Thornhill, and the chapel of St. Peter and St. Paul, with an interior designed by James Athenian Stewart. The Naval College had a training reactor, the Jason Reactor, within the King William Building that was operational between 1962 and 1996. The reactor was decommissioned and removed in 1999. To the east of the Naval College is the Trinity Hospital Almshouse, founded in 1613, the oldest surviving building in the town centre. This is next to the massive brick walls and the landing stage of Greenwich Power Station. Built between 1902 and 1910 as a coal-fired station to supply power to London's tram system, and later the London Underground, it is now oil and gas powered and serves as a backup station for London Underground. East Greenwich also has a small park, East Greenwich Plaisance, which was formerly the burial ground of Greenwich Hospital. The O2 formerly the Millennium Dome was built on part of the site of East Greenwich Gas Works, a disused British gas site on the Greenwich Peninsula. It is next to North Greenwich Underground Station, about 3 miles kilometers east from the Greenwich Town Centre, northwest of Charlton. Pear Tree Wharf was associated with the gas works, being used to unload coal for the manufacturing of town gas, and is now home to the Greenwich Yacht Club. The Greenwich Millennium Village is a new urban regeneration development to the south of the Dome. Enderby's Wharf is a site associated with submarine cable manufacture for over 150 years. <laughs> Greenwich Park Behind the former Naval College is the National Maritime Museum housed in buildings forming another symmetrical group and grand arcade around the Queen's House, designed by Inigo Jones. Continuing to the south, Greenwich Park is a royal park of 183 acres (0.7 square kilometers), laid out in the 17th century and formed from the hunting grounds of the Royal Palace of Placentia. The park rises towards Blackheath, and at the top of this hill is a statue of James Wolfe, commander of the British expedition to capture Quebec. Nearby, a major group of buildings within the park includes the former Royal Observatory, Greenwich. The Prime Meridian passes through this building. Greenwich Mean Time was at one time based on the time observations made at the Royal Greenwich Observatory, before being superseded by Coordinated Universal Time. While there is no longer a working astronomical observatory at Greenwich, a ball still drops daily to mark the exact moment of 1 pm, and there is a museum of astronomical and navigational tools, particularly John Harrison's marine chronometers. The Ranger's House lies at the Blackheath end of the park and houses the Werner Collection of Art, and many fine houses, including Vanbrugh's House, lie on Mays Hill, on the western edge of the park. Town centre Georgian and Victorian architecture dominates in the town centre which spreads to the west of the park and Royal Naval College. Much of this forms a one-way system around a covered market, Greenwich Market and the art house Greenwich Cinema. Up the hill from the centre, there are many streets of Georgian houses, including the Fan Museum, on Crooms Hill. Nearby at the junction of Crooms Hill with Nevada Street, is Greenwich Theatre. The Greenwich Playhouse closed in 2012. Topic: Market. 
There has been a market at Greenwich since the 14th century, but the history of the present market dates from 1700 when a charter to run two markets, on Wednesdays and Saturdays, was assigned by Lord Romney Henry, Earl of Romney to the commissioners of Greenwich Hospital for 1,000 years. The market is part of the island site. Bounded by College Approach, Greenwich Church Street, King William Walk and Nelson Road, near the National Maritime Museum and the Royal Observatory. The buildings surrounding the market are Grade II listed and were established in 1827–1833 under the direction of Joseph K. A market roof was added in 1902–08 and replaced in 2016. Later significant development occurred in 1958–60 and during the 1980s. The landowner, Greenwich Hospital, has been enhancing the market since 2014 and due to complete in spring 2016. Topic: <laughs> Greenwich Mean Time. Greenwich Mean Time (GMT) is a term originally referring to mean solar time at the Royal Observatory, Greenwich in Greenwich. It is commonly used in practice to refer to Coordinated Universal Time UTC when this is viewed as a time zone, especially by bodies connected with the United Kingdom, such as the BBC World Service, the Royal Navy, the Met Office and others, although strictly UTC is an atomic time scale which only approximates GMT with a tolerance of 0.9 second. It is also used to refer to universal time UT, which is a standard astronomical concept used in many technical fields and is referred to by the phrase Zulu time. As the United Kingdom grew into an advanced maritime nation, British mariners kept at least one chronometer on GMT in order to calculate their longitude from the Greenwich meridian, which was by convention considered to have longitude zero degrees this convention was internationally adopted in the International Meridian Conference of 1884. Note that the synchronization of the chronometer on GMT did not affect shipboard time itself, which was still solar time. But this practice, combined with mariners from other nations drawing from Naville Maskelyne's method of lunar distances based on observations at Greenwich, eventually led to GMT being used worldwide as a reference time independent of location. Most time zones were based upon this reference as a number of hours and half hours ahead of GMT or behind GMT. In recognition of the suburb's astronomical links, asteroid 2830 has been named Greenwich. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> World Heritage Site. In 1997, Maritime Greenwich was added to the list of World Heritage Sites for the concentration and quality of buildings of historic and architectural interest. These can be divided into the group of buildings along the riverfront, Greenwich Park and the Georgian and Victorian Town Centre. <laughs> Greenwich Heritage Centre Greenwich Heritage Centre is a museum and local history resource run by the Royal Borough of Greenwich, and is based in Artillery Square, in the Royal Arsenal, Woolwich, South East London. Topic. Discover Greenwich Visitor Center The Discover Greenwich Visitor Center provides an introduction to the history and attractions in the Greenwich World Heritage Site. It is located in the Pepys Building near to the Cuddy Sark within the grounds of the old Royal Naval College formerly Greenwich Hospital. .The building began life as an engineering laboratory for the college. The center opened in March 2010, and admission is free. The centre explains the history of Greenwich as a royal residence and a maritime centre. Exhibits include The history of the Palace of Placentia Models of Christopher Wren's original designs for Greenwich Hospital Six of the carved heads originally intended to decorate the exterior of the college's painted hall Exhibition displays about maritime Greenwich and its connections with the sea and exploration By wisdom as much as war an exhibition about the history of the Royal Naval College during the years it occupied Greenwich Hospital 1873 to 1998 Topic Education 
The University of Greenwich main campus is located in the distinctive buildings of the former Royal Naval College. The university has other campuses at Avery Hill in Eltham and at Medway. The Greenwich campus also houses the Trinity College of Music. Secondary schools in the area include John Roan School and St. Ursula's Convent School. Transport Rail Greenwich is served by two national rail stations, Greenwich and Mays Hill. Both of these stations have southeastern services to London Cannon Street, Crayford and Dartford. Thameslink services to Kentish Town and Luton via Blackfriars and to Rainham also operate from these stations as of 2019. Greenwich is also served by the Docklands Light Railway, with services from Greenwich and Cuddy Sark to Lewisham, Canary Wharf, Stratford and Bank. The district is served by one tube station, North Greenwich, which is situated on the northern edge of the district. The station is on the Jubilee Line and has westward services through central London to Stanmore, and eastward services to Stratford. Topic buses Greenwich is served by several transport for London bus services which links it with areas including Catford, Central London, Elephant and Castle, Eltham, Lewisham, Peckham, New Cross, Sidcup, Thamesmead, Waterloo and Woolwich. Topic boat There are a number of river boat services running from Greenwich Pier, managed by London River Services. The main services include the Thames Commuter Catamaran service run by Thames Clippers from Embankment, via Tower Millennium Pier, Canary Wharf and onto the O2 and Woolwich Arsenal Pier, the Westminster Greenwich Cruise Service by Thames River Services, and the City Cruises Tourist Cruise via Westminster, Waterloo and Tower Piers. <laughs> Pedestrian and cycle routes The Thames Path National Trail runs along the riverside. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel provides pedestrian access to the southern end of the Isle of Dogs, across the River Thames. The National Cycle Network Route 1 includes the Foot Tunnel, though cycling is not permitted in the tunnel itself. Sports Rowing Greenwich is home to a variety of amateur sports clubs. Its location on the Tidal Thames makes it a good location for rowing. The Trafalgar Rowing Centre in Crane Street is the clubhouse of the Curlew and Globe Rowing Clubs. The Globe has senior and junior squads, the latter renowned for its achievements at national and international level. Topic: Literature. Edward Lear makes reference to Greenwich in more nonsense pictures, rhymes, botany, etc. There was a young lady of Greenwich whose garments were bordered with spinach, but a large spotty calf bit her shawl quite in half, which alarmed that young lady of Greenwich. Topic. See also Greenwich Cablevision Greenwich Peninsula List of people from Greenwich List of World Heritage Sites of the United Kingdom Notes